Okay guys, so tonight we are working on this BMW. It's a 2013 335 X Drive. And the reason why I am looking at it and want to bring you guys along is because it's a problem I've not experienced yet before. It's a drivability problem that looks to be electrically related. So what it does is while driving and not so much regular cruising but I think it's when you get up to a certain speed the vehicle kind of just starts to cut out in power and the traction control light starts to flash so almost to the point like it has um, traction control intervention so it kind of just slows you down and it gives you no more acceleration and the, the traction light just starts blinking. Once you let off and, and drop down to a certain speed again, you can drive it normal up yet again until you get to that, that speed range. There are no, let's see, no trouble codes that kind of would basically point you to something. So I don't know exactly what I am looking for. I just have some sort of ideas of where I want to start poking. One thing I found out today when test driving it and looking at it, um, what I did was drive it with the scanner plugged in and I can get you a shot of some, some of the data that I was looking at, but I noticed that if you turn the traction control off and you drive it and hit that same speed point, it does not cut out. There is no intervention. So it's something related with traction control when it's on and active, kind of basically, it seems like it's creating intervention and reducing power. And so because of that, I, I and not knowing where to start and not having experienced this yet before and basically no trouble codes to go by um, as far as any bulletins or any of that thing, I simply am going to just directly go to the ABS control module. Now my mindset and thought and idea is to test to see if it's dropping out and making it seem like it's interacting or inter interfering with the power control of the vehicle. Because one thing I noticed and I'll show you when the live data the, the, the data drops out when it gets to that loss of power mode and when the lights traction light is blinking and then you come back to the reduced speed and the live data comes back online so that's why I'm jumping straight to checking right at the DSC connector for power, ground, the wake up signal and the CAN bus communication which it's actually not CAN it's a flex ray so I am tapped into all those. There is my diagram and pinouts, which the I had to kind of decipher because not all the pins were correct. This for some reason has a different uh, connector style, but either way, I've got it all pinned out correctly. There are so one, two, three powers. Then the wake up signal, there's one main ground, and then you've got uh, two lines for the flex ray. So that's where we're tapped in. I'll get the scope connected inside, we'll go for a test drive, and at, at the same time as I'm scoping, I'll show you the symptom, uh, knock out two birds with one stone. All right, so I've got all this freaking spaghetti mess routed inside, hooked up, connected. Scope is running. Key is just on, obviously. I ran a complete system scan. DME's got two faults, VTG1, ABS, DSC1. Um, so it obviously communicates. But to show you, uh, that's irrelevant because it's missing this one, I'm not going to pay too much attention right now. Obviously, it's one that 
probably wouldn't have to get addressed, but I don't think it's causing anything of what we're experiencing. Um, that's nothing. This here actually was not here before. I'm wondering if it's because I had the uh, DSC connector unplugged. So, um, regardless, still not one to worry about, but this is the guy that we are concerned with. So I'll get this started and driven and show you the symptoms. Okay, so this is actually the first time this has happened to me. So I was getting ready to pull out of the bay and that came up and I scanned it and we've got that steering angle sensor no message. The DSC is the one that's reporting it. It's received, supposed to receive it from the ICM. Listed as permanent. So, uh, that's the first time I've gotten something. But let me try to continue. I'm not going to turn the key off and try to show you what it's doing, and that way I can try to keep testing there as well. Okay, so I'm ready to start driving, and I'm pulling up as far as live data on the DSC, just the brake pressure sensor. So I'm letting off the brakes, now I'm pressing it. So this will blank out when the light will start flashing. Okay, so, so much for trying to show you what it was doing to me, but... I don't know if unplugging the DSC and plugging it back in created something. Not sure because where I was thinking after testing, there's a, a the way the structure is as far as the wiring for communication for the DSC. It's involved with one other module, basically on the flex ray. Uh, and it's the ICM. Now, again, right now, all these codes that are popping up. So I just went down the road, nothing happened. I decided to rescan it, and more codes popped up. And they're all listed as permanent. And so transmitter ICM, transmitter ICM, transmitter DME, DME, FEM. ICM. Now, the the ones that are listed for DME, FEM, those would have to come from the flex ray, which are also tied into the ICM. So, but at this point where the DSC looks like it's not talking to the other guys on the flex ray, it did not act up. Almost in the way of where I had explained when you turn the um, DSC off there, the vehicle didn't act up. So there has to be something going on with when the DSC is online talking to other guys that it, it, it interacts. Right now, if it's not talking to the other guys... It's, I guess, not interacting, so the vehicle's not acting up, but we do have a bunch of lights turning on, so, uh, let's see. Let's see if these will even clear. So, supposedly, let me cycle the key. Okay. So, nope, right away. 
T. So as soon as I started to try to roll, let's see which ones came back. Okay, so I realized yesterday during the test drive, I didn't pan over to the scope with all the channels. And so currently we are having error messages up on the card display. And there are all the channels. And so there is the blue, red, yellow, no, blue, red, green, yellow are all our powers. Uh, that yellow is the wake up. So, and then this is the flex ray, which they are at two and a half for their idle. And then there's the ground. But as far as what else is going on, again with what you saw on the test drive, with the multiple faults, let's pull them up again. So, you've got other modules that are reporting about the DSC, like we said, let's see, and so with seeing those codes, now starting to come up and populate. And what I was experiencing off camera about the DSC almost dropping out or symptoms of it dropping out, I'm almost wondering if there's an issue with the DSC itself because what I wanted to see with the, the flex ray and the powers and grounds and everything is that if we, obviously if we lost powers, grounds or anything, it's gonna drop out the DSC. But knowing that it can still communicate when it would come back online yesterday from when test driving or even now when it's not fully dropping out and it's able to log fault codes is that if the power grounds are good and not dropping out and the module is still there and to see that the communication at the flex ray lines at the DSC are still good and present then information's going to the DSC. But then the fact that others on the other end of the DSC on the flex ray are not seeing the DSC, and now DSC is starting to report about others not being able to communicate with it, it's almost as if the DSC is not dropping out, but it's not translating and communicating well and back towards others. And it even thinks that others aren't talking. So basically what I'm getting at, I mean, there's not too much more that I can kind of do or test. or Because we know when we get the error message for the DSC issue that the flex ray is not dropping out. And so it's like... Again, almost like we're kind of pointing at the DSC as being an issue. We obviously don't know what's on the flex ray, who's sending what, or supposed to be sending what, but as long as it's not fully dropping out and that the DSC stays alive because it has powers and grounds, it's just, again, not being able to kind of translate well outwards. And it also seems to take itself out of receiving end because it's reporting as if others aren't communicating. So with this one, it's hard. It's hard to shoot from the hip and and say definitely the DSC is going to be the problem. I mean, yes, it's the easy thing to make a call on, but it's a, a sh almost a shot in the dark. But I'm doing everything to try to test there at the DSC to try to make a good call but maybe I'll I'll get a shot of some of the wiring diagrams and so on and so forth and maybe we can try to make some sort of decision and so just before we do that I'm not sure if I did catch it on 
camera, but let's go over this again. So this is running live. I'm concerned with the flex ray. And obviously if we see any of the powers and stuff drop out. When this goes into that faulted mode and it brings up the uh, error message. So I'll keep you live on the scope and I'll let you know when the error message. You'll hear a gong and that'll be when the uh, DSC issue arises. As long as the flex rate doesn't short up, down, or, or disappear, we know communication towards the DSC at the DSC connector is still there. I'll move the car. There we go. So, so at that point, nothing crazy happened with the flex ray, as far as what we can tell. Another way that I can try to, let's call it, test it about the flex ray is I can add time to where it makes it look bunched up. It looks hashy because there's so much going on. The flex ray, it's such a fast rate, so that's why it looks like this. So if there was an issue, we're going to see it here in the longer time because it won't be a, a steady, constant, solid hash. So we'll do the same thing, move the car forward and back till we get the gong for the error message. So I'll try to keep you fully on the scope and just verbally tell you which gong is the error message. So, so far we're good. I'll keep you here. There we go. So we'll stop it there. Right there towards the end on that last capture. This is where we got that. And there's no no signaling dropout as far as full full type of uh, dropout. So Again, it's kind of hard to say what's fully going on, but I'm trying to do my best to, and even at that point, everything was still there, present. So, it, it's, it's weird because it's almost like we're losing a module, but we're having everything still be present. And just lastly, what I wanted to show after I just showed you guys this whole signals not dropped out. Uh, I quickly went into the the ABS to see if it had any faults and it's got no faults currently. Others are still reporting not seeing the ABS that the ABS DSE um, at this point even though it's kind of like dropped out error message blah 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 has no fault in it so right now it's on the on the end that looks for the DSC reporting about the DSC but the DSC itself thinks nothing's wrong so just to kind of give you an idea or a shot of the flex ray setup or system it's this whole big deal you've got one main center player that is the FEM and then all the way down here in this corner is where we have our DSC and it actually goes through the what they call the ICM and then it ties into right here at the top the FEM so it's just something that uh, I was looking at and wasn't sure if the ICM was going to come into play with interrupting situation with what's going on with the DSC or if maybe something potentially with the FEM and again this is another type of breakdown over here is the DSC and if you follow it it comes down here again the ICM 
and then ICM goes over to the FEM. Same basic uh, description, just laid out differently. This is all part of the flex ray, but again, our issue we're thinking is with DSC, but there are other players, and ultimately, main controller is FEM. So based off of those diagrams that I was looking at, this guy here, this module, that is the FEM, and it's, again, the main controller for the communication and stuff, obviously flex ray as well. So before I even got into any further, I wanted to pull the panel, expose some of the connectors, just to make sure there wasn't any type of water damage or corrosion in there um, that could contribute to the issues that I'm having and I didn't want to get misled to keep looking at DSC area or ICM if there was water damage here at the FEM. So I went ahead and decided to go ahead and order a used DSC unit because at this point again there's not much more that I can do and my kind of gut feeling as long as nothing else was wrong or causing the issue was to go ahead and try a replacement DSC. So I've got that installed here. Here's the used unit. I kind of got it just uh, situated in there. It's plugged in and I'll quickly do a full scan. And so this is what we got. After doing the full scan, we'll pull up the report. And so we're getting only the uh, one fault right now so far, DME, that's irrelevant. Same with the uh, transfer case. Uh, so here is the DSC. This is the faults that this has. So now this is telling me, obviously we're going to have this guy here encoding incorrect vehicle. And then this one here for, uh, looks like it came from one that was not all wheel drive. But other than that, we'll go ahead and, and test drive the vehicle in the situation and state that it was creating a fault. And for where the other modules were uh, stating that they were not seeing information from DSC. And hopefully this will eliminate any of that, but we'll be able to tell once we test drive it. Now it's gonna be difficult to uh, try to explain to you guys because you were just used to seeing the error message pop up, which we know that's not gonna go away. So we're just gonna look for my first initial symptoms, which was the ABS would flash and the vehicle would lose kind of uh, power like the ABS was interacting and then uh, if it does not do that then we're probably safe to say it's not acting up. Getting up to speed pretty good. So beforehand, it wouldn't let me do that. So, if this stays this way and with no fault about communication, I will go ahead and try to do uh, a coding of the DSC. Okay, so we're pulling in. Never did end up having any type of uh, interaction problem. And then um, just re-ran the complete scan. And then looks like all the same faults are there. Let's pull up the report just to make sure. 
Okay, so still only one DME, so on and so forth. So, all right, no, uh, no faults in any other module, basically seeing that they couldn't see information from the DSC. So at this point right now, looks like everyone is seeing DSC information, even though, so that's still, so get this, so even though we know we are seeing these faults, other modules are still, let's call it okay with the rest of the data transformation that's going on, the rest of the data transferring that's going on between all the uh, modules on the flex ray to the point that they're not even tattletailing of, of anything else going on, uh, including uh, this incorrect coding deal. So, okay, with that, the next step to try to completely fix this is let's see if we can get rid of this encoding stuff, which obviously will get rid of all the error lights on the dash. Okay, so I'm set up with my connections. I've got my maintainer connected. Go ahead and key it up. And then we'll back out of this. And we'll go to programming. Okay. That's the setup I've got. Okay, so we've identified vehicle, we'll continue. Okay, so normally I would go with yes, but I'm going to skip it. I'm going to say no. Let's see, we'll go programming coding. And for... Right now, I'm going to take everything off and just leave encoding for the DSC. It might be a good idea to, at a later point, do the rest of these. But for right now, I just want to see if we can get that rectified with just encoding. If not, we might try programming. But... Let's try this. Okay. Let's go for it. So first it'll download files off the network onto the machine and then from the machine into the car through the interface. Now is when it will go forward with the actual programming. Or, excuse me, coding. Alright. So. Apparently, supposedly, everything was successfully done. In DSC only for coding. And. We'll go ahead with update the vehicle order. I'll just quickly right off the bat. No DSC error messages on, but we will confirm by reading all fault memories, clearing them, test driving, and make sure everything is good. Okay, so we'll back out. Back out of programming. And let me quickly disconnect this setup okay and then we'll go here auto scan Let's see what we have okay look ABS no faults so it looks like it coded it correctly we won't have any issues uh, so let's see. Report. All right. 
So yeah, look. ABS. No faults. So we've got rid of that uh, rear wheel drive coating. We made it to all wheel drive. Let's go ahead and give it one last final test drive. Make sure that it's all good. All right, let's see, one last final test drive. So no lights. Pull back out. And let's see what it does. Good acceleration without any, again, interaction. Obviously, that's tire pressure. like everything is good with this one no more faults popping up no more DSC issues so back from the test drive we'll just read that all right no faults no more problems this one is fixed so all right guys um, there you go, there you have it. This one is finally all fixed. I will tell you, this one has been here for a while. It's only because I didn't know exactly what kind of plan to come up with to try to make an accurate diagnosis. Basically because of the symptom that it was having. It was, it, it was driving, it would just have a fall on its face, traction light would pop on, almost like when you have wheels slip and the, the traction in the racks and then it cuts the throttle so then it just bogs down and then it when you would reach a certain speed and then you, you back off of that speed and it would drive fine until you get back to that speed so it was I didn't know where to go with it where to start you can easily start to look at wheel speed sensors uh, so on so forth but but that's why, again, it was difficult to try to come up with a good, definite, pinpoint plan. It looks like, and obviously I wasn't able to show you those symptoms, but when I unplugged it to tap into the lines to start looking at the DSC, it started acting different by other modules actually finally reporting information they weren't seeing. But again, it was still kind of hard to make a call because the DSC never really drops out fully like a no comm situation it's still always communicated just on its own it was alive on its own and it never dropped out it was just not able to basically translate continuously and it thought the rest of the car was gone and then the rest of the car was saying the DSC was gone and then so it was a little bit cumbersome and difficult knowing that the bus never flatlined, but knowing that our powers and grounds were always there continuously, and that the flex ray never dropped out, either shorted or lost, just made me continuously look at DSC. And I just verifying that there was no water damage with the FEM led me to make that call. So I'm glad that that took care of it. I'm glad we were able to code it. I'm glad that it's all good, done, and finally able to leave. So. Hope you enjoyed it, thank you for watching, and then we'll just move on to the next one.